was shot and killed by FBI agents last week. Tonight, we're getting a closer look at body camera video of a past incident with Provo police involving Craig Robertson. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Evans. Robertson made threats against President Biden and other officials on social media before his death. We learned earlier this week about an incident with Provo police in 2018. Today, we received video of that incident. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree has been going through the video all evening. She joins us live in studio tonight. Jenna, why were police called to the man's house five years ago? Well, after combing through all of the video, which we obtained through a public records request, it's clear police questioned Robertson after he threatened utility workers who were in his backyard with a gun. Ultimately, police and the Utah County Attorney's Office did not arrest or cite him, but not before sending a SWAT team to the scene. Put the gun down. Speak to me. Officers spent more than 10 minutes trying to get Craig Robertson to come outside and talk to them. You are waving a gun while cussing at them, correct? I told them to get off my property. They were not threatening your life or, or your... I told them to get off my property. Were they threatening your life? Two Google Fiber workers tell police they tried knocking on Robertson's door to tell him they were going to be working on the service pole in his backyard, which city easement allows them to do. The first I heard him yelling, I'm used to that, you know, but I turned around and he just hit the on my property, waving a gun. I'm like, okay. Could have just came out and asked us what we were doing. Officers explained to Robertson it's illegal to threaten someone with a gun just for being on his property. In Texas, you may be able to defend your property with a handgun. In Utah, Unless it's your life that isn't threat. No. I had no idea there's two of them to one of me. Did you see a gun? No Were they in bright colored vests that said Google Fiber? What threat was that? Robertson told officers he's carried a gun for 45 years and keeps 20,000 rounds of ammunition in his basement. I answer the door with a firearm at all times. Why is that? Because I choose to. This is still America. It is America. That's right. I have the right to. But the saying goes, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, correct? Eventually, Robertson complies with the officers and comes outside. you got to understand that we have to respond accordingly, sir. You answer. Listen, if I want to take you out, i got another 24 sniper rifle there. You'd have never made it here. Okay, though, that's probably not a good thing to say to us. No, I'm just telling you. That. After a long you know, de-escalation, Robertson that. even apologized to the utility workers. Hey, guy. All done? I'm sorry. Yeah, we're all done. I'm sorry. Oh, fine. I get your frustration. On August 9th, the FBI went to arrest Robertson at that same home on charges related to threats he made against President Biden and other elected officials. The FBI said Robertson had a 357 handgun when he was shot to death. I did call Provo police and they declined to speak with me about the 2018 incident, but they did say the FBI knew about their encounter with Robertson. Reporting live in studio, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.